If any of you know me well, you might know that I love South Korean film and TV. I often say that it's the best film and TV outside of the UK and USA, with a lot of their films rivaling the best the Western markets have to offer. So, in the past month or so, a certain TV show has been picking up a sizable audience and a lot of attention. Squid Game. This is a survival drama thriller series written and directed by Wang Dong Yuk, best known for 2017's The Fortress. Now though, Squid Game has elevated him to whole new levels of fame and popularity, as well as the cast of the show. This show is available on Netflix worldwide and last I checked it has been watched by more than 111 million people, becoming the streaming service's most popular show ever. This video is not a review of Squid Game. I will say that I have watched Squid Game and I liked it a lot. It is possibly one of the most creative and visually compelling shows I've seen in a long time. About debt ridden people who volunteer to enter a series of children's games with deadly consequences. I really recommend everyone watch it. It has a diverse cast of characters, each with their own flaws, weaknesses, strengths and personalities. It does a good job at making you root for and care for almost all of them to some extent. It also has ample amounts of action, horror and even comedy. It has something for everyone. And to top it off, it's well made, albeit with some pacing issues here and there. If you don't speak or understand Korean, I would recommend watching it with English subtitles and not the dubbed version or the closed caption version because there are some errors and oversights in the translation process. The standard English subtitles are the best way to watch this show if you don't understand the Korean language. Now, the remainder of this video will contain spoilers for Squid Game, so please, if you haven't seen it, go and watch it. So, what is this video if not a review? Well, it's somewhat of an essay, somewhat of a shameless promotion and love letter to South Korean content. It's also a bit of a trivia dump about Squid Game and South Korean content, so here we go, it could get messy. First up, let's talk about the cast of Squid Game. Jung Ho Young. This is her first acting performance outside of some music videos here and there, but she's a significant name and an even more significant face in South Korea because she's a famous model. Her appearance in this show is notable, especially for fans of fashion and for South Korean audiences. Next up is Gong Yu. If you've watched the show, you might be wondering why this guy is being highlighted. I mean, he's only in two scenes across the entire series. Yes, but his appearance is a big deal. This guy is one of the biggest, most popular actors in South Korea right now, and one of the more familiar faces to emerge from the country and its content in recent years. He's the main character in Train to Busan, arguably one of the best zombie films ever made. A film I highly recommend as well. Check out its sequel too, although that is very different film and not quite as good. The other film he's in is one of my personal favourite South Korean films, The Age of Shadows, a spy thriller set in 1920s Korea while it was under Japanese rule. There are twists and turns, cool noir aesthetics, great acting and action scenes and very suspenseful moments throughout. I highly recommend this film. Another Squid Game actor, Hyo Sung Tai, also stars in The Age of Shadows. He also stars in The Fortress, from the maker of Squid Game, remember? You see, it's all connected somewhat. One name in this film I want to point out though, and deviate a little from this current topic, is that of Sang Pan Ho. This guy Western audiences might recognise in a bit more. He stars in Snowpiercer, the original movie based on the graphic novel. Another great South Korean film that I recommend. On top of that though, He's one of the main stars of Parasite, the Academy Award winning film by Bong Joon-ho. Arguably the best South Korean film ever made. Maybe. It's a masterpiece, basically, and a film you must see. Anyway, back to the cast of Squid Game, and back to Gong Yu. This guy is not only a well-known actor in South Korea, but he's also done a bit of modelling and he does a lot of advertising. I hear his face is plastered all over South Korea, promoting various products and services. So. His appearance in Squid Game is one of those, oh look, it's that guy kind of moments. It's a pretty big deal. Next up, the front man. This is where we dive into big spoilers for Squid Game. This mysterious character is very ominous and unusual. The show hides his identity for a long time and then he suddenly removes his mask. This moment is surprising and shocking in numerous ways. In terms of plotting, story and character, he's the brother of one of the main characters. 
is a big twist with lots of emotion behind it. But to South Korean audiences, it's much bigger than that. The reveal is that the front man is played by actor Lee byung hun He is arguably the biggest actor to come out of South Korea, primarily because he's also starred in several big name Hollywood movies. Terminator Genesis, the G.I. Joe films, the remake of The Magnificent Seven for example. Outside of Squid Game, I would recommend you check out The Good, The Bad, The Weird and I Saw The Devil, two of his biggest South Korean movies. Speaking of I Saw The Devil, or more specifically who is in that film, Choi Min Sik is a star in that film and he is probably best known for another Korean film, one which sadly got an American remake that paled in comparison, Old Boy. Old Boy is one of the earlier South Korean films to really break out and become a hit with Western audiences. It's not a film I personally like that much, to be honest, although I do admire certain aspects of it and I would still recommend people check it out. It's a noir action thriller about a man who was imprisoned in an apartment for 15 years. He then seeks revenge and there's some romance in there too. So a bit of everything. So, to sum it up, the reveal of Lee byung hun is huge for Squid Game and Korean audiences. It would be like seeing an A-list Hollywood star like Brad Pitt or Sandra Bullock suddenly showing up in like Fear the Walking Dead or something like that. It would be huge and out of nowhere. So let's bring this to a close. South Korean cinema and TV is great. I haven't talked too much about the TV side of things, but there are some good crime dramas and thrillers coming out of the country too. I would also recommend another Netflix show, Kingdom, a feudal set zombie show that really plays around with the genre and tropes of zombies. If you're in the UK, there are a lot of South Korean shows and films on Netflix. I believe the streaming service has some sort of deal with many of the South Korean production companies and distributors. So check out some of them for more. I've recommended a lot of films today. I've also dived into Squid Game a little bit here and there. So I hope you are enlightened. I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you go and watch some South Korean content. If you've liked this video, subscribe to my channel. And of course, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the underscore Burton. Until next time, though, thanks for watching.